All right, it's another uh, tool time. Uh, these are about hammers. Uh, hammers you may not have, hammers that you may not want, hammers that you now may want. <laughs> um, so these are usually called rawhide, uh, rawhide faced hammers. Um, they are actually leather. So the face is actually made out of strip of leather, round, 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 round into a spiral. And uh, they're uh, clamped in here with this big nut. So this is a sp two split halves and you put the two ends in and tighten this and it holds everything together. And uh, rawhide hammers are great because they don't mar things. Uh, so you can really give a good wallop on things and uh, you'll beat up the hammer but you won't beat up your work. Uh, so I, I, I love these, these rawhide hammers. Now, they come in various sizes and they come in um, uh, various brands. Uh, I don't remember where I got this one. I think I got it at a garage sale. Um, this one is a company called Bassa, B-A-S-A. -S -A. This is a Bassa number one. And uh, so number twos are bigger, number threes are bigger. Um, and uh, so this one, look at that ruler. So this one has about a uh, inch and a quarter diameter. They usually go by that. So you can still buy the um, replacement heads. So you, you, you buy them by diameter and they just pop in here. Um, and uh, another trick uh, that's good to know is if your face gets pretty chowdered up like this one, this one is, you can take it over to a belt sander and just sand it off and make it new again. So you've got a little bit to play with until you run out of, uh, run out of rawhide. So um, yeah, so this one's cool. Uh, pretty vintage it looks like. It's pretty beat up, uh, but it still services. And um, let me show you another one I have. Uh, this one's a little bigger. Uh, this one is made by Garland, and most of the rawhide hammer stuff that you see, Garland is kind of the, 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 the name that you usually hear. Um, this one has an a inch and a half diameter um, heads, and uh, this one has a really nice handle. I'm, I'm just really shocked always when I pick this one up at how nice the handle is. Um, they spent a lot of time and energy making this handle nice. It's got inlays, it's got double inlays, it's got two different uh, pieces of wood spliced together. I don't know why they spent so much time on the handle on this thing, but uh, it's gorgeous. I, every time I pick this thing up to use it, I just love it. Um, green is the typical color for garland. Uh, this one says garland number two of Saco, Maine, S-A-C-O, Maine. So made in the USA. And this one is, um, let's see, Saga Hammer, uh, New York. So made in the USA, Green Tweed and Company. So that's the name of Green Tweed and Company. I don't know. Anyway, haven't heard of them. These are these are great hammers. Um, like I said, uh, I use this one all the time. This one this one's got really good heft to it, and you can really swack things really hard. Um, I kind of threw away my rubber mallet. I just ended up never using it, and uh, it kind of went bad on me, so I threw it away. And I've never replaced the rubber mallet since I've got these things. So I'm sure rubber mallets have their place too, but uh, th these are these are just great. But the reason I wanted to film the video is uh, I wanted to show you my favorite hammer. This is the tool you probably didn't know you needed. <clears throat> and it's this one. It's cute. It's very, very tiny. Uh, it's about uh, six, seven, eight, nine inches long, teeny tiny. And the uh, head is uh, one inch. Oh, it's less than an inch. Oh, no, it's right at an inch, right at an inch. These are one inch. And the cool thing about this hammer is it's rawhide on this side and it's brass on this side. Uh, so this is just perfect for the shop, um, for the type of stuff I do, small little stuff. Uh, anytime I use a, a punch, uh, like a, uh, uh, you know, a center punch or a prick punch or something like that, I'll always hit it with a brass hammer. Um, and that's probably why the end is so beat up, but uh, I like hitting with brass. And this one is uh, probably needing, pretty close to needing to be uh, taken over to the belt sander and cleaned up as well. Um, 
whenever you start to get mushrooming on the uh, hammer, it, it starts to be a little dangerous, especially for uh, steel hammers. For brass hammers, probably not so much, but it's good to clean them up once in a while so they don't splinter off and throw, throw something in your eye. Um, so it's got a big A on it. Uh, and there's no markings at all on this hammer. So that's, that's uh, tricky then to find the manufacturer. But if you go on to Google, it's called a Thor hammer, T-H-O-R. And uh, this is a Thor number one. Uh, and, and you'll find them. Uh, they're still for sale. And uh, uh, they aren't the cheapest things for such a tiny little, uh, tiny little thing. But I, I swear, I use this thing every single day. Um, I'm not crazy about the handle. I think the handle could be nicer. It's a little too round, so it's kind of a little bit hard to index in your hand. Um, so, you know, if I were to redesign this thing, I'd, I'd, I'd have a nicer handle on it. But it is what it is, and uh, it does work well. Um, now, this one doesn't isn't split. So I'm not sure how you replace the, uh, the heads on this. They must just be as press fit. Uh, there's no other way to guarantee they'll stay in. So I guess with brass, I guess you just whack it a few times and it expands and maybe it holds in there. And then the raw height, I guess you just hope for the best. So I've never replaced um, the uh, faces on this and uh, I'm not quite sure about that. I have replaced the faces on one of these hammers, I don't remember which one now, I bought replacement. Doesn't look like it, but uh, I think I did buy replacement uh, faces for those in the way back days. Um, but uh, this is the hammer you want, this is the hammer you need. It's, uh, it's very cute. Um, yeah, there you go, Thor hammer number one, Garland hammer number two, Bossa hammer number one.